Do you know what makes Starbucks different from other brands? His premium positioning, strong brand identity, and customer loyalty. These dynamic qualities elevated from a simple coffee into 98.34 billion dollar brand. Hi everyone, so let's create this 3D reel. Today we'll be learning a new 3D trick. Okay, so hold on. First, as you can see here, the background. Okay, so let me, you know, right click new solid and select this. Okay, background. Okay, so we have got this. Now we need to make a circle. So I'll head on here to ellipse tool, delete the stroke. Hit solid color, enable fill. While holding shift, I drag with my mouse to make a perfect circle. Hit control alt comb to bring this anchor point to the center. And then in the align, I will hit align horizontal and vertical. Now after this, we need to, you know, as you can see here, make the line. We'll do the animation, but first we need to prepare the assets. So let's make this line now. Okay, select this pen tool and then Disable fill, enable stroke, click here, then click here and first I will enter and rename it to line, click this and rename to circle, okay and then I will control D and this one I will rename to circle visited. You will get to know in a few minutes why I am, you know, making these and why I'm renaming this like this okay so let me keep this circle visible above now I need to you know put this line over here and let me just increase the stroke yeah this looks good but in the starting as you can see when the line comes through this green circle this part becomes the background color which is beige or something like that and this one we'll do it okay so now what I'll be doing is i'll first bring in my asset of the starbucks cup okay so where i got this asset you can head on to sketchfab and download from there okay you can get any 3d models from there and bring it into this timeline i'll make it big now as you can see there's a simple animation it comes up and rotates a bit okay nothing too complex in this i think this feature is only available from adobe after effects 2025 version and above but i might be wrong this is the advanced 3d option okay so i'm just enabling this this way you can able to upload these type of 3d objects now i'll just do a simple animation hit p for position click this go ahead somewhere around one second again hit p go to the first keyframe hold shift and hit r to open open rotation keyframes also so you want to rotate it in this z rotation okay so i'll hit z and you know bring it over here or around two seconds and i will rotate it then i will go to the first keyframe and drag this cup down so we get this animation but it's too you know linear so we might add it okay something like a bit of turn like this okay now what we have to do is we have to animate this line so as you can see this cup rotation is simple okay now we have to animate the line what we'll do is okay i will show you the trick how he has made that first of all you know i will track mat this circle visible to line okay and then hit invert and then I will do this line to circle and hit invert. Okay. Now I have to enable this line. Okay. Now as you can see this part, you know, you are able to see this part live. It is in the reference video. Now the only thing which you have to do is animate the line. So I'll just hit, you know, add, head on to trim paths, hit end, go here, again hit end, go to the first keyframe and make it zero select both of these hit f9 and then direct this to the left now let's see the animation and you have got the same animation now i hit ctrl shift c to make the starbucks cup a uh, pre-compose so i'll just write here cup hit ok make it 3d and make everything else 3d too and make this classic 3d okay from advanced so you'll get this animation over here okay now what we have to do is simply right click bring in a camera hit ok 
right click again bring in a null object make that 3d connect the camera with the null and then hit p position keyframe go ahead one second and then hit position keyframe go to the first keyframe and zoom this in and you know in the second keyframe you can keep it about this much select both of these keyframes f9 and then right click to the left okay okay so as you can see the first animation is complete now the whole scene will go you know move down and then the next scene will come so after the scene is over i'll hit u again here and then i can just simply hit position keyframe again go ahead and drag the scene down okay and you know i want to make it fast at the end so i'll drag this like this and make it here like this so when it is over here what i'll be doing is simply cutting it okay so i'll just select all of these and hit alt and right bracket okay so this will be our first scene now we have to make the next scene okay so this will be our next scene okay so this is normal rotation nothing major now we'll do this animation okay this is simple so just select the stroke black make it around 4 something like that okay before that what we need to do is i'll select this hit control shift c to make it a pre compose and make it 3d again okay then i will start making the lines first click here then click here and then click like this okay now we'll bring in our text but before that let's make it 3d right click and text layer right good here yeah i'm just writing random text okay okay so now how to do that animation before that let me just select all these alt left bracket so that this all belongs to the second scene not in the first scene because it will overlap make them 3d okay now i'll be using one of my presets but you can you know check out my previous videos to learn custom text animation So first will be this code we'll show that so I'll just put here okay after one second I'll put this on health and after one second more I'll put this on drink okay so every text will have one one second okay now as you can see in the first scene it was going down so we want to continue that animation so what I'll do is first I will increase my camera one till the end. then i'll hit right click null object make it 3d connect the null one okay which we created then connect it with this null two and we'll just shorten it to start from the second scene now what i'll do is a p for position keyframe go ahead okay and drag this down a bit so you know the animation is continued but we need to smoothen the keyframe so it will be fast at the start and slow at the end okay so something like this as you can see it's going down and if you see it all together you will feel as if it's one motion okay okay now we need to play with the camera so in the second scene i'll just you know when it starts i'll hit control shift key to cut the camera over here okay hit open this up hit point of interest and position now we play with these three okay so first i'll select this give it a bit of you know angle then i'll put it over here like this then you no know, do this okay 
so this will be the first animation but this line is looking stationary so what we can do is simply select this line okay add trim paths okay go here or somewhere behind here here and then hit end go one second and again hit the keyframe go to the first keyframe make it zero select both of the keyframes f9 and then drag this to the left so this will be the first now we have to do the same thing after this is revealed again ctrl shift d to cut the camera again and this time drag this here okay and then at last from here again i will control shift t zoom it out first bring it over here okay now it looks good so and then we'll just zoom this out so i'll head on to my null 2 for position keyframe okay hit on position go ahead and then zoom this out like this okay i'll go here first and zoom this in okay now as you can see the animation okay so the rest of the animation is very simple okay like this you know this part he has created you know it's very easy to create just head on to rectangle tool whatever color make something like this okay and here it's dark and here it's light that is also very easy to create just head on to fill select this linear gradient okay and if you want to create color combination light and dark click this let's keep the dark here and it over here yeah and then you know do it like this as you can see i've got that light red and dark red combination just like he has dark green and white combination okay this again same animation and here it is you know just coming up so it is scale animation nothing else okay scale animation is used and this is number counting which i already have the preset for if you don't have the number counting preset just head on to youtube and search for how to create number counting in after effects and it's you will get two to three minute tutorials out there just see that and you can get yourself a preset so that is it for today's video see you in the next